Welcome back, everyone. Well, a lot of people don't know that headaches, even migraines, can be triggered by your nose. Yeah, if you're in pain, you should get checked to see if the problem is anatomical. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mothin Kandula is here from Advanced Ear, Nose, and Throat Specialists, otherwise known as Advent. Nice to have you this morning. Nice to be here. Good to see you again. Thank you. Interesting stuff. There are a lot of people who suffer from mm -hmm. headaches, whether they're what you'd consider regular or migraine headaches. So because they seem to be so much a part of life for so many people and a lot of people have heard that they've been triggered they can be triggered at least by things like stress mm -hmm. What about the nose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there, there are headaches that are absolutely directly sinus related. Mm -hmm. um, and those, a lot of times, and again, most people who think of sinus, inf people who have chronic sinus issues think of sinus infections. Mm -hmm. But with headaches, a lot of times it's not so much an infection, it's that the sinus openings are too small. And for those mm -hmm. guys, what happens is if there's a uh, weather change or pressure change outside, the sinus openings themselves squeeze shut. When they squeeze shut, you have you know a pressure differential between the inside of your head and the outside world, which can be miserable. So yeah. that's miserable. And then we, you know, what we can do in those situations is number one, figure it out. Number two, get those sinus openings open so that we don't have that narrow um, sinus opening. Um, so that's more of just kind of the traditional sinus pressury headache, which is in and of itself can be miserable and can be unrelenting because it just, you know, Chronic. it's yeah. never, never getting corrected. So. Well, and I think a lot of people, like you said, feel that change with the weather. But mm -hmm. now migraines, they're a whole different yeah. beast, Absolutely. right? That, that's different than that's your regular a whole, headache. You know, if, if, if you've never had a migraine headache, you have no idea <laughs> what that's about, basically. Right because it's mm -hmm. miserable. I mean, it's not just, I mean, everybody's had a tension headache and that's mm -hmm. not, I mean, that's no fun either, but a migraine headache can be, you know, 10, 20 times worse than that throwing up in bed, you know, just miserable. And, you know, for, for lots of folks who have migraine headaches, they have triggers. And there are mm -hmm. triggers that people kind of know about, hormonal triggers, uh, triggers as far as not eating or eating the wrong things. But sometimes we find folks who have, who have migraine headaches that have triggers on the inside of the nose. So if you think about it, and this is a picture of, of one of those things, hard, hard to figure out, but there's- Yeah, is, that, the, is that mercury? That's no. Right, no, exactly, that's, that's Venus, no. I was so, gonna say something else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, so that little, well, yeah, I don't know, that, that dark area there that the, the part on uh, the, the, there's an area that's sort of pushing up against the other side and that's, a, that's what we call as a septal spur so your septum okay. divides your nose into two and lots of folks have issues where, where their septum is deviated mm -hmm. if it's deviated in a gentle curve not such a big issue but if it's a spur the aerial arrow right here is showing a spur so it's an arrow it's an area on the inside of the nose that's pushing on another part of the nose and this is one of the things mm -hmm. that a lots of folks have this going on have no idea that it's happening lots of folks have this going on and it doesn't cause any issues but if you have headaches or if your nose is blocked up or if those two things seem to come together, then it, it certainly is worth getting checked out because that, that, if we can flip that, it can make a night and day difference. So this is called a septal spur, what mm -hmm. you just showed us. Right. How can somebody determine if this is an issue for them? Mm -hmm. Because my guess is that you can't just tell from symptoms like, oh, I have a headache and, right. and I automatically know that the problem is yeah. a septal that's, spur. That's the hard part with this is a lot of the issue is just tucked away. So mm -hmm. even on the inside of your nose, um, with the septal spur, you've got an area that's pushing on the same nerve fibers that cause migraine headaches or other types of headaches. And the only way to know is to get it checked out. Really, on the sinus front and the nasal front, the only way to really know is to get a, a CAT scan of the sinus. It's a three-dimensional x-ray looking at those structures to know for sure where the issue is, if there's an issue, and is it does it seem like it might be related to the headache issue. And you're the only place that has a, a dedicated sinus CT scanner in right. all of southeastern Right. Wisconsin, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, that's our main focus is sinus disease. And so, we, yeah, we've got a scanner that that's all it does. And mm -hmm. the good thing with that is it gives us great images. This is a, a picture of the, of the scanner itself. It's the only upright scanner in the area. It's a tenth the dose of radiation as of a typical mm -hmm. scanner. It gets to the point we got the Im information right away. Um, it's it's beautiful. It works immensely well. I love that you just we, said. It's beautiful. It beautiful. Only from the doctor, right? A CT scanner it, is beautiful. It's beautiful. No, because the good thing is you're able to get the same information with, with less radiation. Mm -hmm. which is great and and the information is gained quickly you can't get any information any other way it's perfect I mean and for me it really helps to figure out what's going on and if you you know if you have headache issues or uh, if you're wondering if you have issues that might be related to issues on the inside of the nose the only way to know is to know and I, and I can guarantee you most folks who have those sorts of issues have never had this checked out and those are the folks that I see that tend to be the most immensely helped so if we can find something that we don't know about before we can fix it and it flips the issue 
you know, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. And, and that's one of those things, the only way to know <laughs> yeah. about that is to know it. It's so, so nice to have that mini cat. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Well, if you find out that this isn't an anatomical mm -hmm. issue, you know, what can you actually then do to help your patient if this isn't the actual problem, but they're having similar symptoms? Well, if, I mean, it, well, if it is the problem, so if there mm -hmm. is an anatomic issue, we can correct those issues and that can make a big, big, big mm -hmm. difference. Not everybody who has migraine he headaches or headaches has, has issues on the inside of the nose. And, but I would say, like I said, that's kind of the mystery box that's mm -hmm. out there that most folks who have those issues have never had it checked out. Once we, if we find that there's not an issue there, then there are medicines that can help okay. uh, in certain situations, but you're kind of coming to, um, you know, again, if there's an anatomy issue, the only way to correct that is to fix it. If it's is something that that's- surgery? Surgery, basically, yeah. Okay. So for like a septospur, we'd be straightening the septum out. Half an hour surgery can make a, you know, night and day difference. Um, same thing on the sinus front. If there's narrow sinus openings, we can get in there, get in there, get the sinus openings open. You know, usually half an hour surgery. Um, and I bet they just feel that difference right away. They can, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. And nice that you can have it checked easily with the mm -hmm. mini cat and then that the fix potentially can be so easily solved too with this mm -hmm. surgery. I think it's worth checking out for people, especially if you've had chronic problems with headaches, even migraines. You can find out more by going to advent.md, that's the website, or call 414-771-6780 is Dr. Candula's office number. And again, it's called Advent. Nice to have you on the show. Nice Thanks, to be here. Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you.